Hey everybody, it's Eddie here, and this video is going to be a full beginner's guide to the Crypto.com app and everything that you need to know. If that is something that you are interested in, definitely stick around. So if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I've already made videos like this in the past. Uh, if you guys are interested in learning more about the Crypto.com app, I do have a dedicated Crypto.com playlist. I'll leave that link down below. But this video is specifically dedicated to my one year on being on YouTube, sharing crypto content, investing content. Around Around a year ago, October 2020, I uploaded my first crypto video on my channel. I've been in crypto before that, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to try uploading something a little bit different. And uh, it changed the whole you know, trajectory of my entire life. Ever since then, I uploaded a total of 55 videos, 56 including this one. And I just want to thank every single one of you who has really supported me through this journey. Whether you liked the video, whether you found my channel and subscribed, or you hit that bell notification commented all that stuff really appreciate it thank you thank you so much also special thanks to the patreon team thank you team for uh journeying along with me it's been really fun navigating the markets together if you are interested in learning more about the cryptocurrency space and how i'm navigating these markets what i'm buying what i'm selling and how i plan on exiting these markets definitely check out the patreon group link down below so the first thing that you're going to need to do is download the app onto your phone now if you live in the us you only have access to the app version and you do not have access to the exchange if you're outside of the US and you have access to both the app and the exchange depending on what country you live in. If you are interested in signing up, I do have a referral link down below. If you do use my code, you do get a $25 bonus and I get a bonus as well. If you have used my code in the past, thank you guys so, so much. But the first thing that you are probably wondering is what do I do? What do I buy? How much should I buy? I'll just say this. If you are brand new to crypto and you have never bought anything, I always encourage people, at least my friends, to buy 50% Bitcoin, 50% Ethereum, and just hold on to it for about a month or two and understand how the market moves. Afterwards, you can decide to explore other altcoins, but you, know, you have to be very careful what kind of altcoins you buy. Now, if you're not familiar with Crypto.com, Crypto.com pretty much aims to be like an all-in-one platform where you can buy, sell, transfer, and even spend your crypto, which we're going to cover all of that in just a second. In terms of the user interface and just the overall experience, it's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, it's a beautiful app. Uh, everything is laid out very simply, very self-intuitive, and easy to find all the buttons. So the first thing you're going to do in order to buy, you're going to click on Trade, Buy, and there's going to be a list of cryptocurrencies, right? You can scroll down and see what is listed. Or if you're looking for a very specific one, you can go ahead and click on the search button and type it in there. So for me, I want to look for Ethereum, right? Boom. And then what you're going to have to do is add a debit or credit card. Now, I've tried using credit cards to buy crypto through crypto.com, but it wouldn't allow me. So it just could be, you know, a thing with my account. If it works for you, awesome. Uh, but I stuck with debit card. And second of all, I don't recommend you going into debt to buy crypto unless you absolutely know what you are doing. But once you enter your information, your card should be listed. Now I can choose to buy 0.33 Ethereum. It's not a whole Ethereum, it's a fraction of an Ethereum. And that's gonna cost me about $1,400. How did that number happen? Well, you get the price of Ethereum, which is around $4,400 right now. You divide that by three, and then you get the 1460, somewhere around there, I'm rounding it generally. Recently, I talked about Polygon or Matic on my channel. So I'm actually going to go ahead and buy some more Polygon just because it's red right now. And generally, the general rule is that it's good to buy cryptocurrency during a red market or when the price is slightly down. So right now, Polygon is down around 2.78%. Not too much, but as long as it's under $2 for me, it's a good buy, right? I'm going to go ahead and click on buy Matic. And I'm going to go ahead and just buy 500 Matic for this example. That's going to cost me around $966. You're going to grab the current price of Matic, $1.92, multiply that by 500, and that's how you get the $966. This dollar amount may be a little higher or a little lower. It really depends kind of how the market moves, but it should roughly be around that range. And there is going to be a 3% fee. Now, if you are brand new, you just signed up for the first 30 days, there are going to be no fees. All the fees will be waived. So I do encourage you to take advantage of the first 30 days to accumulate as much as you can, especially if the market is down. I understand. Continue. One Matic is right now worth $1.36. That's the amount, the fee, confirm everything, $9.97, confirm. And now my Matic has been purchased. If I go back, click on accounts, 
you're able to see the cryptocurrencies you have purchased. Now, right now I am holding some Dogelon Mars. Uh, it's an experiment within my Patreon group. So team, you know, this one's for you. And uh, yeah, it's not really in my nature to buy these type of tokens, but uh, it's for the team. Now there is actually a way to avoid the 3% card fee. And that is gonna be by transferring some funds from your bank into this account. The way that you're gonna do that is you're gonna click on transfer, deposit, fiat, and then you're gonna have to set up your currency depending on where you live. For me, I'm gonna click on the US dollar, click ACH details, and then a routing number and an account number should show up. What you're gonna do from your bank is send funds into this account, right? So if it, when your bank asks you what routing number and what account number do you wanna send it to, you're going to send it to this number. I'll just show you an example through my bank account. It's going to look different for you depending on what bank you use. I'm going to click on account transfer, schedule transfer, and the amount that I want to send over is going to be $400. You're going to choose the account you want to send from, and then you're going to click transfer to. For you, you're going to have to add an external account or a new account. For me, I've already added it. So I'm going to click on crypto.com and then I'm going to click on transfer. I've initiated this on October 30th. It's a Saturday, it's a weekend, and it should arrive by November 2nd. It might be quicker if you do it on a weekday. And then once it arrives into your account, you're going to get a notification on your phone letting you know that the funds have arrived. You're going to go and click on accounts scroll down and then within your fiat wallet it should be right there i've already went ahead and transferred funds over ahead of time which is why you see it there so let's try the exact same thing trade buy and then instead of clicking credit card i'm going to click on fiat wallet click on that and click max which is around 450 dollars 230 matic buy it and as you can see the fee this time is going to be zero dollars Confirm, purchase 230 Maddox, and that's usually how I like to purchase through the crypto.com app. I usually like to send funds over ahead of time versus using the credit card. Now, there are some benefits using the credit card. For example, within exchanges like Coinbase, Gemini, and Binance US, once you buy your cryptocurrency, there is a holding period of like five to seven days, meaning you are not able to transfer it out in case you wanna send it to somebody. It has a lot of benefits if you are a, a leverage trader. I don't recommend leverage trading, uh, but within crypto.com, you can buy it and you can actually send it out immediately. So that is definitely a very strong benefit with the crypto.com credit card purchasing uh, option. Now let's talk about selling, right? You're going to click on trade, you're going to sell, and then you can choose a cryptocurrency that you want to sell. So in my case, let's see, I'll just choose a uh, Bitcoin as an example. Now you have three options to sell, right? You can sell it into a different cryptocurrency. In other words, you're using your Bitcoin to buy other cryptocurrencies. So in this case, I can use some of my Bitcoin to buy more Polygon, or I can put it in my card wallet, which is the crypto.com Visa card, which I'll talk about later on, or you can put it back into your fiat wallet. And then from your fiat wallet, you would transfer it in back into your bank. Now, when is a good time to you know sell your cryptocurrency? That is really going to depend on you and your personal strategy. Some people like to sell after a 10% gain. Some people like to sell after a 50% gain. Some people have a specific price target in mind and they won't sell until it hits that price target. But you have to be very realistic with your price targets. Maybe you put in a thousand dollars and you have five hundred dollars extra which is a fifty percent gain and you want to take profits take profits there's nothing wrong with that that is completely going to be up to you so for this example i'm going to sell a very small portion of my bitcoin because i don't like selling my bitcoin uh so let's do point zero 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 one yeah let's do that six dollars sell you have sold point zero 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 one bitcoin click on accounts i'm going to scroll down it says fiat wallet and there is my transaction now there is one thing you need to know when you withdraw money back into your bank you need to withdraw at least a minimum of $100. So if you have $7.49 in your fiat wallet, well, then you can't transfer any funds out. So, you know, you can do several things. You can sell a little bit more crypto and then transfer it to your bank, or you can just go ahead and do an ACH transfer into your app and then withdraw the money back out, right? So if I go ahead and click on transfer, withdraw, United States dollar. If I try to withdraw $7.49, it'll say the below minimum limit is $100. Now keep in mind, other exchanges also have minimum requirements as well. So it's not just crypto.com, but this is something to keep in mind if when you wanna withdraw funds back out. Next, I wanna talk about the earn program. We're gonna go ahead and click on the logo in the bottom center, click on earn. And this is one of the features within crypto.com I really, really love. I'm gonna go ahead and show you first and I'll explain afterwards. On the top right corner, you're gonna see a plus sign. I'm gonna click on Bitcoin, and then it's gonna give me three options. I can earn 2%, 4.5%, or 6.5% 
on my Bitcoin annually, right? And so I'm going to go ahead and choose the three month term because I do believe that Bitcoin is not going to top out within the next three months. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, right? But this is only a portion of my Bitcoin. So I don't mind holding a little bit more long term. If it does peak out, I'm going to click on continue, check three boxes, and I'm going to choose the max amount, which is 0.1683 Bitcoin, which is around 10 K confirm everything. It's going to be locked up for three months, 6.5% annually done, done confirm. You have deposit 0.168 Bitcoin. Go back. So now my Bitcoin is locked up for the next three months, meaning I cannot withdraw it, sell it or treat it. It's pretty much locked up and I'm earning a 6.5% uh, interest on my Bitcoin. Now you are not earning interest on the dollar amount, right? I'm not earning 6.5% on my $10,300. Instead, I'm earning 6.5% on my 0.168 Bitcoin, which means that if I repeat the three month lockup four times, which is an entire year, I will earn a total of 0.01 Bitcoin. Divide that by 52, which is equivalent to 0.0002 Bitcoin every single week. So that will be deposited into your crypto.com account. Now you're probably thinking that is so not worth it. What is the point of accumulating that little amount of Bitcoin, right? Well, when Bitcoin hits like 100K, that's going to be like around $26 every single week for me. Once Bitcoin hits like 200K, that's going to be like $50 a week. So I'm earning interest in Bitcoin rather than dollars because the value of Bitcoin Bitcoin is much more valuable than the US dollar, in my personal opinion. An example that I have is I have a one month lockup term for Polkadot. I'm going to click on that. I have 451 polka dots locked up. I'm earning 10% on that 450 polka dot, which is equivalent to 45 polka dots every single year. Divide that by 52, which is the amount of weeks in a year. And every single week, I am earning 0.86 polka dots. On October 19th, one polka dot was worth $40, which is equivalent to $35. On October 26th, one polka dot was worth $44, which 0.86 polka dot was worth $38. So as the value of that cryptocurrency goes up, so does your technically US dollar. But again, the US dollar amount is cool to see but I don't really care too much about it because I want to earn interest on my crypto rather than my US dollar. If you want to earn interest on your US dollars, you can by buying a stable coin called USDC. I have a three month term locked up for $500 and every single week I get paid out exactly $1.15 regardless of the market condition. Now you might be thinking $1.15 is, is not that great, but uh, earning 12% on your cash is way better than any sort of savings account or bank account that I know. It's probably like an average return of the S&P 500. So this is still a great play. Once this is unlocked, I'll most likely buy Bitcoin with it or a different cryptocurrency. But this is an option if you are interested. Let's do another lockup uh, with Polkadot again. I'm going to go ahead and choose the one month instead of the three month, just because if Polkadot reaches my price targets, I do want to end up selling it and I don't want to have it locked up for too long. I feel like one month is good enough, though. Uh, click on continue, check all three check marks, and then we're going to click continue again. Max amount, 115 polka dots, deposit, earning 10%, one month term. Excellent. Confirm. Deposit is complete and I'm going to be earning polka dot every single week. Polka dot is an amazing, solid project. Highly recommended. It is, I think, my number four or number five altcoin position. Once you have staked your crypto, you're not going to see it in your account balance. So you can see Bitcoin $0.00. Polkadot $0, but there's going to be still a little bit remaining. So if I scroll up, you're going to see this uh, kind of square arrow with a yellow dot. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And they have this really cool feature where they convert uh, the couple cents that you have left over into their CRO token. So convert now, check that and then convert dust conversion complete 0 0.040 tokens. Now that's not a whole lot, but it's better than holding like 10 different coins with like two, three cents left over that you can't do anything about, right? So this is a really unique and great solution to condense all your small holdings into one specific token. Next, let's talk about transferring cryptocurrency. Now, when would you want to transfer cryptocurrencies? This is when you want to send crypto to your friend or to a different wallet. I'm going to walk you through this process. It can get a little confusing, overwhelming, but the whole process should be very simple. I'm going to click on transfer, click on withdraw, click crypto, external wallet, and then you're going to add a new wallet on the top right corner. Then it's going to ask you for a Bitcoin address. Now, this is very similar to like an email. So if I'm sending, you know, Bitcoin to my sister, then I'm going to enter my sister's Bitcoin address like I would enter my sister's email address. In this case, I'm going to be sending my Bitcoin to my other Bitcoin wallet address. Right now, I'm in my Celsius app and I'm going to be sending my Matic over into this address. If you're interested in learning more about Celsius, I'll leave a dedicated Celsius playlist link down below. But I'm going to click on Bitcoin, click on receive, 
I understand. And then it's going to give you a long strand of numbers and letters. That is your wallet address. Click on copy. And then I'm going to paste that wallet address right in there. And then we're going to name this Celsius. Continue. And then your wallet address should be pasted. I'm going to click on withdraw. I actually uh, bought some Bitcoin right before I did this section. I bought uh, $230-ish worth of Bitcoin. Uh, click on withdraw. And then you're just going to double check everything. There's going to be a small fee of 0 0.0004 Bitcoin. Confirm. And the withdrawal request has been submitted. It should arrive into your wallet uh, generally around 15 minutes. Uh, if you're freaking out a little bit, don't worry. Just stay calm. Wait a few more minutes. Uh, it should take up to maybe at most 30. I doubt it, it takes 30, but it should arrive within like 15 minutes. Also within the app, they have a really cool feature called track. It's basically tracking coins. So if you're interested in knowing, you know, what a certain cryptocurrency is doing or how it's doing uh, today, for example, like mana did really, really well. So I'm going to click on mana, click on Decentraland. And then you can see that it's up 157% for the day. Uh, for the week, it's up 336%. That's pretty crazy. I actually got my sister into this uh, sometime around, I think when it was a dollar exact, and she sold today. So congratulations to my sister. Again, if you're on like massive profit, like two, 300%, sell it. Uh, that's just take profit at that point, unless you have very high conviction and belief that it'll continue higher, but it never hurts to take profit. And you don't always have to sell your entire position. You can always sell just a portion of it rather than exiting completely. People feel like they need to do like a hundred percent in hundred percent out. Uh, but you can choose up to you, really up to you. Next, we're going to talk about the crypto.com visa card. Now this is the product that they are really, really known for. There are no other companies out there that does something like this. You are able to spend your crypto directly, right? You can sell your crypto within the app, transfer it to your debit card and spend it. You can also earn cashback rewards with the card, and you can also have benefits with the cards, depending on which tier you choose. The first option is the Midnight Blue. It costs $0 and you get a 1% CRO reward back. Instead of getting cash back like your typical credit cards, you get crypto back instead. The CRO token is crypto.com's native token. So it is a cryptocurrency you can invest in, trade in, you can buy, you can hold. It is totally up to you. It's like Matic, Bitcoin, Ethereum. And when you buy and invest into their token, ideally what you are doing is you're investing into the future potential of the projects that they're going to build using the CRO token. So you're really depending on the utility case of the token. Next, you have the Ruby Steel. This is their most popular option. It's going to cost you $400. I'll explain that in a bit. You get 2% CRO reward back and you get free Spotify. This is the tier that I have over here with the Indigo Blue. It's going to cost you $4,000. You get 3% Crow token back. Spotify and Netflix for free. Next, we have the Frosted Rose Gold with the Icy White. If it's something that you can afford, 40K is you know, no small amount of money, but it's gonna cost you 40K. You get 5% back, which is pretty awesome. You get all these things for free right over here. You get Spotify, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Expedia, and you get these other benefits over here. And last but not least, we have the Obsidian, which is insane, right? 400K, for some people that's affordable. For me, that's a little too much, right? So. 8% uh, CRO token back, not, not too bad. And you get a ton of benefits. I have no idea what the private jet partnership is, but that sounds uh, very VIP-ish, right? <laughs> now let's talk about the investment amount, right? This card right here, Ruby Steel, which is their most popular option, it's gonna cost you $400. Now what you're doing is you're not really spending $400, but you are investing $400. Right now, one CRO token is around 21 cents. So what you're doing is when you get the Ruby red card, you are investing $400 into their CRO token, divide that by 0.21 cents equals you are investing into 1,904 of their crypto.com or CRO token. So if the value of the CRO token, let's just say it goes to uh, 40 cents, we're going to multiply that by 40 cents. Well, your $400 investment now became worth $761. So as long as the value of the CRO token goes up, technically your debit card's value is goes up as well. Another frequent question that I get is, Eddie, if the value of the CRO token drops in value, do I need to purchase more tokens in order to keep that $400 level to use my card? And the answer is no, you do not have to do that. Once you've bought it, you locked it in. For me, I actually got my card sometime around here, which was like towards the peak, right? Around 18 cents uh, and it dropped. And so seeing my you know investment go down by like 60% uh, hurt a little bit, but eventually it recovered. 
then it went back down and now it's recovering and now it's close to 21 cents so it's up so so for me like i don't really care about the value of the cr token too much because i'm just going to hold on to it forever regardless if it's two cents or 20 cents or two dollars for me i'm going to continuously reap the rewards of that debit card now in order to get the card you're going to go into the app and you're going to click on the bottom right corner where it says card and then you're going to have the option to choose your card for me my card has already been chosen so this is what i'm able to see but let's say you want to upgrade your card right so say you have midnight blue and you want to upgrade it to ruby red or you have the ruby card and you want to upgrade it to jade green or indigo blue you're going to go to accounts click on crypto.com coin you're going to scroll down and you're going to see the word upgrade you're going to click on that and then from here you can upgrade to the tier that you want to so if you want to upgrade to the four thousand dollar one this is the one you can go with if you want to upgrade to the four hundred dollar one this is the one you can go with so it seems like actually the four thousand dollar one is the most popular but it really depends on what you can afford or what how much you want to invest into right now once you have invested into your card you're not going to be able to withdraw any CR tokens even if you wanted to for the next 180 days this is to make sure that people don't just benefit from the card and then dump their token so for 180 days it's going to be locked or staked and then after Afterwards, you're going to be able to unlock it if you want to. So for me, it says unstake 10,000 CRO token. I'm going to click on that. And then it's going to give me the option to, I'm sure, unstake or keep staking. In my case, I don't want to unstake because if I unstake it and if I want to get the benefits of my card back, I need to invest $2,000 more because right now 10,000 CR token is worth $2,000. The Indigo Blue card, which is the one I have, it's going to be $4,000. So I'm going to keep it because I love it. I enjoy it and I want to hold on to it forever because depending on how many CR tokens you staked, the reward amount will also change as well or the percentage rate, right? And so for me, I do get 6% or 6.5% on my Ethereum, 6% on my Bitcoin, 12% on my stable coins, right? 12% of my Polygon, 12.5% on my Polkadot versus if you got the Ruby card, you would get 5.5% on your Ethereum, 4.5% on your Bitcoin, which is still not that bad, right? 10% uh, on your stable coins and Polkadot and Polygon, but you can go to their website to learn more. So for me, I prefer to keep this route. If you go for the higher rates, uh, you get much more, 8.5% on your Ethereum and Bitcoin, and you get 14.5% on your Polkadot and 14% on your stable coins. You have two ways to load up your card. You can click on trade, sell, choose the cryptocurrency of your choice. So let's just choose Cardano for this example. And instead of choosing crypto wallet or fiat wallet, you would choose card wallet and then you can sell a portion of your cryptocurrency into your crypto.com card take profits and then spend it now not a lot of people are a fan of spending your cryptocurrency but there is no right or wrong way it is completely up to you and your choice of how you want to spend your crypto another way you can do it is go to the bottom right corner and click on card now earlier i showed you how to send funds from your bank account into your crypto.com app once it arrives, you can top up your Crypto.com debit card with the funds that has arrived. But the minimum amount that you can top up is going to be $100. So if that is too much for you, then you should not be investing at all, right? $100 is a lot of money, but I think it's more important for you to figure out how to bring in more cash flow so you can invest more, right? The goal is not to figure out what's the next 100x cryptocurrency. The better thing to do is invest that $100 into yourself so that you can generate more income so you can invest a lot more. That is what I'm going to recommend. But once you have topped up your card, you can go ahead and spend it and you will get CRO token back every purchase you make. Now, if you're wondering about security, uh, I personally feel very safe with crypto.com. They prioritize customer security a lot to make sure that your funds are safe. That is just my personal opinion. I do encourage you to also do your own research, go to the website, read more on it. But uh, overall, compared to most exchanges that I know of, I do trust crypto.com with my funds. Now, just like every exchange out there, right? When a ton of people are on it and when there's a ton of volume, the site will crash like Coinbase. They crash a lot, right? Crypto.com, same thing happens with them as well. So I do encourage you to open up multiple exchanges when you can. I use like five, six different exchanges and I don't just depend on one. Crypto.com just happens to be one that I use more often. But I do have friends that just use Crypto.com. So it really is a preference and it is completely up to you. Well, other than that, I think that will be it for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for sticking through. I know this was a long video, but hopefully it was helpful for those of you that are new to Crypto.com. If you have any questions 
or comments, please leave it down below. The next video that I do want to come out with with crypto.com is a video just answering your questions. So I'm collecting questions right now. I'm really excited to make that video. So feel free to do that. But other than that, thank you so much for sticking around. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're interested in learning more about how I'm navigating these markets, check out the Patreon group link down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Over. Good night. Good morning. Adios.